Hi guys and welcome back to the allotment. Uh, we stood outside the greenhouse to start off with. Oh, phone's going off. Stood outside the greenhouse because I've got a tomato that's turning. So let's come in. Let's have a look. Look, can you can you see all the wonderful fruit? Oh no, that's not a tomato. We've already had some of these. They're absolutely amazing. Um, I'm not sure how big they're supposed to get before I pick them, but I might pick them soon. Uh, Loads of tomatoes still. But, ignoring all this lot. Look at that. Finally got one that's turning. Happy days. Um, the only other thing, uh, while we're here, I might as well show you. You remember the plum tree that was right outside the uh, greenhouse? Yeah, it's not there anymore. I've tore it down. The idea is, this area here, which is just piled with rubbish from what I can tell, is going to end up as uh, the space for the chicken coop. Yes, the missus has given me permission, I can build a chicken coop. And then of course with chicken coop comes chicken poop, which means uh, free fertiliser. Don't know what I have to say it like that for. Um, all right, quick run round. Um, we did have uh, quite a heavy frost the other night. Uh, it's only December. No, it's not it's September, you idiot. It's September the... Sorry about the weird camera angle. All right, it's September the 29th today, so the frost wasn't last night, the night before. So the 26th leading into the 27th, we had quite a bad frost. It's battered most of my plants. The dwarf beans got hit hard. The lettuce just smiled at it. The cabbage, obviously, the Savoy just went, yeah, bring it. Um, uh, the, uh, the basil, yeah, she's a goner. There's, I think there's actually more weeds in there now than anything else. My main worry, though, is my pumpkins. Because <clears throat> that don't look nice. And I'm sure that those pumpkins haven't finished growing yet. So we may have some dwarf pumpkins on the go. It did hit the potatoes a little bit, but it's not knocked them back too badly. So I'm hoping, he says, that they'll be all right. I've still got to rip out the peas, although this one's still trying to produce peas. I'm a little. Uh, Brussels sprouts are doing brilliantly. No, there's a little Brussels sprout. I know, how silly is that, eh? But, birds. The birds have been in started attacking the sweet corn. I'm not happy about that. Um, the cucumbers have taken a little bit of a battering as well. We did have a couple of nice big ones. In fact, I chucked them on the floor over here yesterday. Um, nice size they are, but the only problem is they've been eaten in one side, so I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that. Uh, but he's still producing cucumbers. Uh, as long as it keeps giving me uh, cucumbers, I'll be happy. Yeah, lovely days. Right, I've come up to Adam's plot now because I thought it'd be good to introduce you to the girls. Look at these sexy ladies here. Hello. Don't pet the camera. There's a good girl. Oi, no fighting. None of that now. Look at these. Hey. Hello. If you pet my camera, I will come in there and I will have to hurt you. But how sexy are these young ladies? Eh? And they're not frightened either. It's a really nice run actually. This is the kind of thing we're looking to build on our allotment. Hello. Number six over there as well. Hopefully the camera can see her inside. But yeah, just thought I'd quickly show you Adam's chickens. And she'll be evil and put someone else in the video. Right, well, the cherry's down. Not the cherry, that knackered old plum tree, the diseased plum tree is down. Um, bit of a makeshift fence just to try and keep the dog in. Uh, because that's what I want to start doing. I want to start bringing Sherlock up so he's got somewhere to play. Um, the other good thing, other than 
you know, I mean, like, obviously, that's once I've cleared that out, that's going to be an excellent place for the hen house. Um, the pile of wood, there's basically n nothing left now compared to what there was. Uh, we've got to, uh, there's a fella up the way who's going to take it all away for me. Uh, and then it's find somewhere to put the glass and all the other, I keep finding all these little bits of metal. It's like these random little buggers here. I can only presume that you put a load of these together to make a mini clutch. But really, we've, we've moved on, people. Come on, we don't need this anymore. That's what MDPE is for. Um, I've chucked a bit more straw in there and I've turned it a little bit. But until I get some green in there, that's not going to do anything at all. Uh, the second one is housing a chair. And I finally put up the third one. Uh, just because I was bored. And then I've got two little wooden bins that I found. I don't know what I'm going to use them for yet, but they look pretty handy. Might store pots in them or something, I don't know yet. But yeah, everything seems to be... Oh look! Hello! Hello people! Yeah, everything seems to be going to plan. Sort of, maybe, possibly. You never know. Yeah. I mean, this obviously isn't a permanent structure, it was just to keep Sherlock from well, getting through any of the gaps in the fences. And then at some point, the dreaded raspberry forest has got to come down. Oh, that's the job I'm not looking forward to. I'm really not. But, you know, is what it is. All right, so, sorry it's been long since, so long since the last video. Uh, obviously, life changes and all that silly smeg. Uh, but anyway, hope you liked the video. If you did, perhaps press that little like button. Uh, and if you haven't already, think about subscribing to the channel. But until next time, as I've got bugs all over my arms now, take care of yourselves. Bye-bye <laughs> now.